Hey guys, welcome to part two in this uh, series on inverted paradiddles used in funk or funk fusion beats. So we're building off from the last beat that we did, and this time round we're going to play an accent on beat four with the left hand on snare drum. Okay, it just gives it a bit of a, a, a bit of a backbeat feel that the previous example didn't have. In the last video on Monday we went like this, we didn't play any backbeats at all, it was all placing accents on the fourth sixteenth of every beat, and that sounded like this. And now we're putting an accent rim shot nice and solid on beat four. And that sounds like this. And we're also changing up the, the, the last beat a little bit as well. So everything is exactly the same except when we get to beat four. So I'm going to skip through to beat four. If you haven't learnt the first three beats yet, check out the previous video. Um, and what's happening on beat four is we are basically setting it up with a kick drum note on the fourth sixteenth of beat three. So it goes three, E and A. Uh. And then beat four is just the left side of a regular single paradiddle. So in beat four, you're not playing an inverted paradiddle anymore. So beat four is left, right, left, left. And the first note is going to be an accent. Then you've got... I like to play an accent there on 4E as well sometimes, so I'll often go, all right, so it's 4E and R. Uh. And then the and R, uh, that left diddle or double, is going to be two ghost notes down low. All right, so nice and slow, you'll get 3E and R, uh, 4E and R. Uh. You don't have to accent the cowbell if you don't want, you could get 3E and R. Uh. E and R. But it kind of has a nice syncopated feel if you do. So it's a, certainly an option. Three, and then you're back to the start. So all up nice and slow. Now, in this first variation, we have this. Four E and R. All right. So that's another really cool variation that you can use. Kind of gives it a bit more of a backbeat feel in as much as that you're playing one backbeat in the bar, whereas in the previous example, it just felt way more syncopated because there were no backbeats uh, in the bar. And, you know, backbeats are sort of what people latch onto. It gives it that kind of, you know, dancey feel, if you like, um, as, as far as it gives it a repetitive pulse that people can really lock onto. So there you go. If you like this beat, please check out Total Drumming Success System. Click the link below. This is an example of um, the style of beat that you can find in that package. And we'll see you on Friday with the final variation. Take care. All right.